Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the operation did not complete successfully because the file contains a virus. So, this should be hopefully a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I would recommend doing here would be to open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy the first one. It starts with SFC and then we're going to be specifically scanning the Explorer files. So go ahead and copy the first one. And the only difference if you, you might have to make on your system is that we have the C drive where Windows is installed. So there's a little C and then a colon backslash. In your case, you may have to swap that out with the letter that's applicable for your device, so just keep that in mind. And anyway, go ahead and copy the first command and then go up the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the second one here. And hit enter. So if it did find any issues, it would detect them here. And one further thing, we do a broader scan as well. So if you want to just type in SFC, then a space forward slash scan now, scan now all one word, attach that forward slash out front, hit enter and give this a couple minutes to run and please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.